We travelled to the port city of Walvis Bay to meet a rising star of the Namibian show jumping world. I normally talk a lot about my horses. That's, that's one of the things I do all the time. If I'm riding the horse, I like sort of tell him something like, hey boy, come on. If we go into a difficult class, I'm like, hey boy, come on, no, we're here. No, we need to show that we belong here. We can't just ride here and fool around. And the feeling is like, it's, it's really, it's incredible actually. Uh, sometimes we uh, riders, we take it for granted, like when we sit on the horse, like, because there, there are people actually that would actually kill to be on the horse, just to get that feeling. 20-year-old Zalem Ninamito is a two-time national show jumping champion. He was born on the 10th of August, 1996, in the remote northern Ohangwena region bordering Angola. His story began when his father, Thomas, traveled 900 kilometers south to Walvis Bay in search of work. The Gebhardt family, who own the Walvis Bay stables, offered Thomas modest accommodation and a small wage in return for his work as a stable boy. More importantly, they provided Zalem with the chance of an education at the local school. So, at the age of five, Zalem, who couldn't speak a word of English, moved from the remote northern region to live with his father and study. He studied hard, and I'm grateful to the Gepards who took me in. They helped raise my son, from feeding him to helping him with his homework. We decided he needs to start horse riding because there are a lot of English children, you know, they all talk English with the horses and that was basically why he started was to learn the language. And um, then we just realized, you know, he really has talent for it and, you know, he, he grew with every time, you know, every lesson, everything, you know, you could really see that this one is going to be a really good horse rider one day. So from actually needing to learn English, you know, <laughs> it, it became his sport and, you know, what really got him where he is now. Although his sister has since moved to Walvis Bay, Zalem's mother still lives in the village where he was born. But Zalem adopted two female role models, Uta and her sister Susie, who is the manager of the equestrian centre and has been instrumental in his success on the horse. He is a crowd pleaser. When Zalem rides into the arena, everybody drops everything and just watches him ride because it's, it's such a pleasure to see him ride that makes me very proud to see that they're interested in him. With his horse Incognito, Zalem established himself as a top show jumper in Namibia and has garnered respect amongst many of his international peers in the equestrian world. But a lack of resources means riding as a professional is unlikely for Zalem. Horse breeding still has a long way to go in Namibia before it can compete with neighboring countries like South Africa. I can say we have capable riders that could actually jump as high as the Olympics and unfortunately the country is still too small to really compete at like in the 1 meter 60 classes. We do have horses, we have horses that can go in the 120, 130 and sometimes in the 140 class but from there on you stop being amateur and you rather go into professional riding and Namibia is not yet, I don't think they are at the point yet where we can have professional riders because equestrian sport is still small. With a professional career unattainable, Zalem found a new goal to work towards. Through generous sponsors and the help of a scholarship programme, he's studying veterinary science at the University of Namibia. Now, in his second year, Zalem is one of the top students in his class. I'm very happy because my son is studying hard and he will have a great job. He'll be able to help his family and he won't end up like me, struggling hard. Even if I wanted to do something good for my family, I wasn't able to do so because I just couldn't afford it. The movie there's not enough equestrian vets, like there isn't any equestrian vets. And I was like, maybe I should become a vet and specialise into horses because then we at least have somebody here who can help the other vets or talk to the other vets and tell them what's actually wrong with the horse. Equestrianism has enriched Zalem's life. He believes it will be instrumental in shaping his future success. 
in the future I would uh, still want to continue riding and I get myself a uh, prison cognitus, not the youngest, you know, and uh, keep him still and then hopefully try and find another good horse, a youngster, try and uh, take him up as far as possible. And I would uh, like to work, um, probably open up a, a vet, an animal equestrian clinic somewhere here, close by. He says, I want to be an FEI vet. I want to travel the world as an FEI vet. And I think he, he will, he will definitely. You know, probably still competing as he goes along. <laughs> I start feeling out of place if I don't ride. So it feels like it's, it's where I belong and I, I'm happy when I'm on the horse. And yeah, that's just, yeah, you can't describe it. <laughs> Whatever path Zalem decides to pursue, you can be sure horse riding will never be far from his mind.